Before we dive into the video, I've got something exciting to share with you. This holiday season, Vidno's AI is making it super easy for you to create your own personalized Santa video to spread some festive cheer. Whether you want to surprise your friends, family, or followers with a special holiday message, Vidno's AI lets you do it all with just a few clicks. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to all, young and old. Merry Christmas, Fiona. Choose your template or you can upload your photo. Add message. Select language and voice. And you can generate free videos. And here's the best part. By creating your own Santa video, you'll also be entered to win the latest iPhone 16. That's right. Make your holiday greetings magical and you could walk away with a brand new iPhone. So, submit your share and join Vidno's Santa Video Contest to win iPhone 16. So, head over to the link in the description below to get started with Vidno's AI today. What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get real dynamic island on any iPhone and support iOS 17 or the latest iOS 18.1.1 with the easy method, without any errors. All right, so, first of all, you need a computer to install the dynamic island. Before using Nugget, make sure you have already installed Python and iTunes to run Nugget app. Download the Nugget file tailored to your system. Like Mac with ARM support such as M1 chip, or later, Mac Intel versions, or the Windows version, which we're currently using. After downloading the zip file, you'll need to extract the file. I've already extracted them here, so these are the extracted files. The Nugget application and the internal folder contain core files. Simply run the application. All right, we are now on the main interface. Now connect the iPhone to the system. Click on refresh. As you can see, my iPhone is connected and displays the current version, running on the latest 18.1.1 as supported. Now go to mobile gestalt. Here select device subtype preset you want. I'll choose iPhone 14 Pro Dynamic Island. Now go to apply. Here you need to import Gestalt file. In the previous video, I explained how to get the Gestalt file. Or you can simply use the link in the description to add this shortcut directly and run the shortcut. Save the Gestalt file to your device, then transfer it to your system using iTunes. Now on system, choose Gestalt file you copied from the phone. Now apply changes. The iPhone gets rebooted. And there we go. Now your iPhone will have Dynamic Island, like on the iPhone 14 Pro or newer. Dynamic Island is the same as Dynamic Islands in general, there are no different features. Like for example, I'll activate Dynamic Island by running a stopwatch. You can control the music from here, along with the timer. Let's connect the charger. It's actually pretty cool and integrated, yet it appears somewhat unusual below the notch. If you do payments or install any apps from store, the Face ID animation will appear in the same way. When an incoming call is received, the animation seamlessly transitions from the dynamic island. You can directly access the timer. Same. If I return to the home screen during a call, it transitions smoothly into the dynamic island just like on the iPhone 14 Pro, with everything functioning the same as usual. Whether you're using maps to track locations, turning on the torch, or recording your screen, everything works the same as usual. So, for your information, if you want to remove the dynamic island or don't like it, again, go to Nugget app, connect your iPhone, go to Gestalt file, here choose device preset to none, means to default. Now go to apply, choose Gestalt file and apply changes. Now, the iPhone will restart and return to its normal state without the Dynamic Island feature, restoring all settings to their default. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and consider subscribing. Please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.